With the launch of YouTube Gaming, there's a great opportunity to stream to a whole new audience of viewers. And the beauty of YouTube Gaming is that not only does it show your live stream, it archives it completely to your YouTube channel. And in YouTube Gaming, all your old content, streaming or otherwise, is there too. And as an aside, all your stream archives are on your standard YouTube channel, so it's not just limited to YouTube Gaming. In this video, I'll be showing you how to stream to YouTube Gaming using the Ava Media LGP Lite GL310, an incredibly cheap pass-through capture device that intercepts the HDMI signal from your console, encodes it and compresses it, passes it to the supplied ReCentral software, and that then streams it to YouTube. But trust me, it sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. So first up, you'll need to get yourself an LGP Lite. Then plug it into your system like this, with a HDMI lead coming from the console to the device, then another one going from the device to your TV or monitor. There's a USB lead going to my laptop, and on the other side you can see my USB headset mic plugged in too. Actually, I think I've got my, um, I've just got a microphone plugged in, haven't I, in this video. Um, and that's there so that I can add commentary on top of my stream. Next, you must have installed the ReCentral software. Have your LGP light plugged in, then go to the settings. Well, click on stream first. Then what you want to do is um, go to the advanced bit here, just on the right. And then you want to put in these sorts of settings. So make sure that um, it's set to game console, video sources HDMI, capture devices HDMI. Now, if you're using a microphone, click on the microphone and then click on settings and just have the cap knock the... Um, capture device down well it, I mean it depends how loud your microphone is I find it I knock it down to about minus two keep the microphone at 100 and that kind of equals up the, the different sort of levels video format FLV is fine resolution now I recommend especially to start off with don't go full HD just do 720p that's really that is very very nice for streaming video bitrate and I, again I would say start off really low I'm starting off at two megabits a second here um, if you've got a fast connection and a fast PC, you know, by all means, take it up um, at two megabits a second. Things do look a little bit fuzzy, but for streaming, I think it's okay, and it will mean that you get a nice, um, stable stream. Audio bit rate, 120 kilobits a second. That's you know CD quality, isn't it? I think. Um, frame rate, 30 frames a second, and all of this, what you can actually achieve. A lot of it depends on the power of your laptop or your computer, so how fast it can work, and your internet connection, because obviously that's what's firing this stream up to um, up to YouTube Gaming. Um, and also, remember, think about things like your um, uh, Wi-Fi connection from your laptop to your router, or uh, you know, best thing would be to go wired, because then you're going to get you know really high up uh, bandwidth, you know, going up and uh, and coming down. Now, once you've got all this set up, what you can do is you can you could say you're ready, but let me just shut that down. What you want to do then is you want to go over to your um, YouTube um, channel. Um, I'm assuming you've already kind of set one up, and you want to go to the live streaming tab on the left hand side and just check it's enabled. When you click into it, if you haven't already enabled it, it'll just I think it just asks you to to agree to their terms and conditions. Um, and then that's it. You just follow their instructions, and then what we can do, we're basically we're we're re we're really just ready to go. So if it isn't already, fire up your console and get it ready to play. So let's go back to the ReCentral software now, and we just need to log in. And the, with YouTube Gaming, it is so easy. Again, make sure you're on stream. Click on login. YouTube Live is the one you want, and you don't fill any of the other details in, and just say connect. This fires over to YouTube, and for example, I've got a few different accounts, so it asks me which account do I want to use. Just click on Total, Total Carnage Gameplay, and then it just asks me, is it okay to allow this to access it? And I say, accept. So it's going to check it, so it's going to say, okay. Now, it, we're, we're good to go now. So what I can do now is if I just press the blue button on the middle of... Um, my uh, LGP light, you know, the one with the light in, or actually I can go to advanced so you can actually see what I'm doing. Click on ready. There we go. Just going to check in. And it just pops up. And now all I've got to do is click on this bit in the middle. And that 
is going to ask me what do I want to call this live stream. So this is just, I'm just going to put a test stream because this will actually go to YouTube. We'll have to delete it in a minute. Test stream, so nobody thinks. Um, you can't change the description at this point, but obviously in YouTube you can. Let me just put test stream. Um, powered by Ava Media, privately says, and make sure that's public. And I just say start. And uh, you should see a little blue light come up here. My little mic things come up because I've got my mic plugged in. If you were looking at my LGP light, you'd see that the blue ring light is flashing. And now, people, we are we are streaming live. Now, with YouTube, though, if we go back here, this doesn't come on for quite a while. There's quite a long delay. I think YouTube obviously sucks in the stream, does its compression and all its wonderful stuff it's got to do so it can stream it out to um, thousands of people. And then basically you've got to, got to wait. But at the moment I am actually streaming. Um, so at this point, you know, you could you could uh, start firing up your game, going into it, making sure that uh, everything's working. Saying say hello to everybody. And what you'll see on the right hand side of the screen, obviously, is we've got our chat box here. So what you would probably do is you know come down here and, and say hi everybody. But I just want to show you something slightly different. When it does actually fire up. Um, there's another little thing pops up where we can go to a slightly different screen um, and then you can uh, see what the next sort of, sort of stage is. Yeah. So um, here we go, right, <laughs> the total carnage gameplay is now streaming now, see how long it can take? So that was probably almost two minutes, wasn't it? So if I just click on that now, it takes me to this separate page. So now I can actually see what's going on and I've got my um, uh, chat box uh, here, so here I could say Hello everybody. Ooh, if I could spell. And then what you probably want to do at this point is mute your laptop as well. Now nobody is actually watching because it comes up down here when it is when it is doing. But that's it. I am now streaming live to the world via YouTube um, YouTube gaming. Okay, so how cool how cool was that? Streaming live to YouTube, really simply with an incredibly uh, cheap device. Let me just uh, stop the stream, come out of that. So, there we go. Um, if you fancy having a go, if you really enjoy your gaming and you want to give it a bit of a go with um, streaming your gameplay to the world via YouTube gaming, all you need is something like an LGP Lite GL310 and a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, and it just shows you how simple and easy it is. So, that's enough from me. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.